All right, so I was asked by a local high school to come out and do a demonstration. So I just told them I would go ahead and put this YouTube video together. And I'm going to come out and show them how to do it, but that way the video is there and they could reuse it every year. So what they wanted was a cylinder with some text that's engraved into the cylinder and then threads. And so threads on this end. So we've got some external threads, but then also some internal threads. And they actually wanted them to be threads so that they could 3D print these and then see how they work. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do to create the threads. You're going to have to have the Autodesk add-in Cool Orange. So if you've never used Cool Orange before, it's a pretty simple download. You just uh, Google Cool Orange Thread Modeler. It comes up, click on it, follow the instructions to download it, and it automatically is installed in Inventor. So whenever you open it up, it'll be there. So from this landing page in Inventor, we're going to click on a new part. So go ahead and double click on new part. That'll open it up. So we're going to click on start from a 2D sketch. When we do that, I'm going to come in here to this graphics area, hover over this XZ plane and go ahead and left click on it. I'm going to click on circle. I'm going to put the center point of my circle right at the origin by left clicking on that point. And then I'm going to make this a diameter of one. So I'm just going to type in one and hit enter. And then come up to the ribbon, click on the 3D model tab, click on extrude. Inventor automatically selects my profile. So I'm going to make this circle three inches long. And I'm going to use a symmetric option. So it's going to go one and a half inches up, one and a half inches down from where I created my sketch. So that looks good. So I'll go ahead and hit OK. If you don't see this here, there's this little arrow. So if this is all you see, just go ahead and click on this arrow. And it'll expand out. You can also do the same thing from these icons over here as well. So go ahead and hit OK. Now we've got our cylinder. So now I'm going to cut down this bottom, this top part of it. So to do that, I need to create a sketch first. So I'll click on Sketch. I'll click on this top face. Inventor automatically takes me, so I'm looking normal to this. So I'm going to draw another circle. And this one's going to have a diameter of 0.75. So I'll type that in, hit Enter. And then I want to project the geometry. So I want this outside edge. I want that to be part of my sketch as well. So I'll just click on it. And then once I have it selected, I'll right click and then select OK. And that gives me this little donut that I can now cut. So I'm going to come up to the ribbon, click on 3D model, click on extrude. This time I need to select my profile first. So I'll go ahead and click on that arrow for profile, come in here in this graphics area and select in between those two circles. And now instead of extruding, I want to do a cut. So I'll select this middle icon here. And then I'm going to cut down a distance of one inch. So I'll change that to be one inch and hit OK. And now we're going to do something similar on the bottom side. So I want to go ahead and orbit around to this bottom side. So I'll left click on this orbit tool over here and then just left click and drag and drag this thing around so I can see the bottom. Okay. So after you get that oriented, go ahead and hit escape. We'll create another sketch. So I'll click on sketch, click on this bottom face, click on circle, put my center point at the origin and then do another circle of 0.75 inches. So once I have that on there, I'm ready to cut this one as well. So I'll click on 3D model up on the ribbon, click on extrude. Again, this one's going to be a cut, so I'll select the cut icon. And then this one, I want it to be deeper than the one on top. So if we have two of these, we can screw one into the other one. So I'm going to change that distance to be 1.25. So it's deeper than the one inch cut we made on the top. So that looks good. I'll go ahead and hit OK. I'll click on this little home icon here. It takes me to my default isometric view. I'll go ahead and save this while I'm thinking about it. So I'll go ahead and click on save. I'll just navigate to my desktop and I'm going to save this as SATC SIL for SATC cylinder. So SATC CYL and then just go ahead and hit save. 
All right, so now I'll go ahead and put my threads on. So for the threads, I'm going to use this thread tool first. So I'll go ahead and click on thread. It wants a face, so I'll select this top face, and it's going to go the full length of that face. For the specification, it already picked up that it's a three-quarter inch with 10 threads per inch. It already picked up those parameters. That all looks good, so I'll go ahead and hit OK there. Then click on thread again. And I want to do these inside ones at the bottom. So I'll go ahead and click on orbit and orbit around so that I can see the bottom of these again. And again, I'm just left clicking and dragging. So now I'll hit escape. That'll get me out of my orbit command. Now I'm back here to where I can select my face. So I'll go ahead and click on that arrow next to face. Come in here and select that inside cylindrical face. Again, it's going to go the full length of that face. It already picked up the thread spec. Everything looks good. I'll go ahead and hit OK. So now I've got my two threads. I'll go ahead and click on Home. It takes me back to that default isometric view. I'll go ahead and save this again. So I'll just click on Save. And now I'm ready for that cool orange add-in. So I've got it right here. I'll go ahead and click on Cool Orange. Click on Thread Modeler. So in here, for the template, it's already referencing the English template that I want to use. So what I need to do is click on the thread. And so one of the limitations with this thread modeler, not really a limitation, but one of the things with this thread modeler, you have to select it out of the tree over here. So I'll just click on thread one and then hit OK. And it's going to convert that representation of a thread into actual threads. And I'm going to go ahead and do that again. So I'll click on thread modeler again. And then come over here and find my other threads. So thread two. Hit OK. That's going to convert that into threads as well. Now I'll go ahead and click on Save. And now the last part was engraving some text here in the middle. So I'll click on Start a 2D Sketch. And then I'm going to click on the arrow next to Origin. Because I want to create this 2D sketch on the YZ plane. So I'll go ahead and select YZ. It's in the center of this cylinder. I'm going to make some geometry first and then create my text. So I'm going to project geometry. So I want to make these two edges part of this sketch. So once I've selected project geometry, I'll left click on this vertical edge. And then I'll left click on this vertical edge on the other side. With those two selected, I'll go ahead and right click and hit OK. And that finishes that project geometry command. And now I just need these to be con construction geometry. So I'll just right click on it and select for construction and then do the same thing on the other side. Right click on it and select construction. All right, so once we have those set up to be construction lines, you'll know they're construction lines when they show up being dashed lines. So I've got those two set up. Now I'm going to draw a line across the middle here and set it up with the origin. So I'm just going to draw a line. I want to go from this point right here. So I'll left click there. Come on over to this other side. And left click right there. And then go ahead and hit escape. And then again I'll do the same thing. I'll go ahead and find that line. Right click on it and do for construction. And since this line's in the middle of the cylinder, I can't see it in this view. But if you go ahead and hit F7 on your keyboard, that's for slice graphics. And it will slice this model where your sketch is located. So I've got it there in the middle. I can click on this endpoint over here. And I can see how it can move up and down. So I'm going to select that horizontal line. I'm going to hold down control so I can select this origin. I'm going to make those two coincident. And then just go ahead and hit escape. So now I'm going to go ahead and create uh, this text. So the text, I'm going to click on the little arrow next to the word text. Click on geometry text. Now I'm, I'm selecting this 
horizontal line that I created. So I'm going to get over that and click on it. Brings up this geometry text box. So I'm going to go ahead and click in here and I'm going to type SATC. Go ahead and highlight it. I'm going to pick a font. I, I use Arial for almost everything. So an Arial font and I'm going to use a size of 0.25 and then when I hit enter it gets me out of that text command and you'll see how it put it in upside down. So I need to go ahead and just double click on this text and one thing I can try is this direction. So I'll switch it to be counterclockwise and hit OK. Flipped it the other way. I can go ahead and double click on that text again. I can try this position to make it inside and hit OK and then it's displayed the way I want it to be. The other thing is I want to go ahead and center this text. So I'll go ahead and double click on it again, click on center, hit OK, and now it's centered in that cylinder. So now I'm ready to go ahead and engrave this. So I'll go ahead and click on 3D model up here on the ribbon, and we use the emboss tool. So I'll select emboss. I want this to wrap around the face, and I want it to engrave from the face. And I'm going to set my depth to be 0.1. So for the face itself, go ahead and select my orbit tool here and orbit this thing around. So I'll click on face and I want this face right there. And then select profile. And for the profile, I want to click on the text itself. And then I want this arrow to be going back into the part. So I'm going to select that icon right there to switch the direction of this. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And then once it exits the sketch and exits slice graphics, you'll see how it went ahead and created that text and it engraved it back into it. All right, so, and then that finishes this up. So then from there, we would go ahead and save it. And then if you were gonna 3D print these, uh, then you need to either convert this usually to an STL or something to be able to use with your printer to be able to import it into the software to program it. But as far as that, that's all there is to it, to create this cylinder, create some actual threads that follow a helix on the top and on the inside, and to create this text in the middle. So I hope that went well. Good luck with your modeling and inventor. Thanks for watching.